Hey, troops, it's Roy from the Geeks Adventures. Woohoo! Broadcasting from the Clintonville section of Columbus, Ohio. It's Matsuri Khan weekend. Um, so normally, you know, cosplay, um, dancing in the aisles to K pop, um, parents walking around and, you know, with that look of, what? This is a cartoon? You know, the usual, the usual chaos and mayhem. <laughs> Um, so I was thinking, you know, well, I'll do something. And I'm like, well, got these costumes I've been working on, thinking about yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, you know what? Yeah. Um, to call this a fashion show, it's just me. They're not even finished yet. So, you know, but we're going to do this. Yeah. Um, so, you know, just gonna, just gonna show you the three things that have been percolating in my brain. Um, they're not finished, okay? They're in stages ranging from, you know, I need a little tinkering here and there, to, yeah, I got to build some stuff, but it's a cool idea. The base looks really cool. So, are we ready? Yay! Let's go! Hey, troops, Alrighty, Let's start with... <laughs> We're going to go back in time to the late 90s, beginning of year 2000, with a Neo costume, because, well, it's easy. <laughs> All black, carry a weapon or a gun, black sunglasses. <laughs> and uh, honestly, I, I do try if I'm, usually when I'm hitting a con, Saturday is, of course, you know, the big show-off, ooh, costume day. If I'm dressing up on an off day, whether it's like a Thursday, Friday, or a Sunday, try and go for something that's a little bit comfier or just go, nah, I'm going to dress as a civilian. Um, so something like this is lighter, um, which, I mean, you know, you got basically got pants, the, um, the, the for me, the ubiquitous all-purpose chef's jacket. Um, oh, one of those times when getting stuff from Wish is really kind of cool because it's really cheap um it's it's basically like a um almost like the um what is it how come no that's how come up pants um the outer jacket it's almost like a surcoat um no sleeves it's really long um and it's like i think was it double or triple extra the biggest size I could get um, through them um and all black of course so useful for all cosplay um to you know ideally i would be in the um, in the trench coat because you're real you should be in the trench coat but trench coat's hot um and i try to get a trench coat and it's still too tight um so this works better but um i'm actually kind of surprised and i got lucky at you know this is the umpteenth got it at the ren fair knockoff and went cool it's cheap great for cosplay yay um ideally of course you know the usual sidearm as well even if it is neo so technically you know okay just do this and don't have to worry about bullets but you get the idea um so yeah first cosplay um i know this is not all that fancy but something i've been thinking about doing for a really long time because yeah it's neo yeah Woo. anyway okay so there we go gonna go to the next one Alrighty, next costume is yeah, it's Aragorn. Well, yeah, because he looked awesome in the Gondorian armor. Uh. <laughs> you know, this is one of those things where, you know, how do you pull it off? Um, yes, I know people who sew, and they would probably look at me like, you want me to reproduce what? How much do you want to pay me? <laughs> um, so now you're looking at this going, so where the heck did you find that thing? Um, one of those, you know, pop-up ads on Facebook going, hey, we got a hoodie that looks like the thing bro, that got that Aragorn wore. And of course, me being a dork went, oh, I gotta buy it. Um, now the bad news is that as a hoodie, eh, material's kind of quirky, yada, 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 and, you know, kind of bummed, but then I realized, cosplay, yes! Um, so, yeah, the, the, let's see here, you know, the, the, we got, of course, the, um, the black cape, um, and of course, <laughs> um, this is a knockoff I got from the Ohio Renaissance Fair. Guys, I'm sorry you're closing this year, but it's a good idea, but we're gonna miss you, Aww. next year, yeah, um, 
So yeah, I'm um, saying so, I got the big old, you know, medieval looking belt. And Anduril, forged from the shards of Nadasil. <laughs> Um, so yeah, and if you're wondering, yes, I have an elvish knife that I can match with this. Yeah. <laughs> the only problem with this, and I'm experiencing that right now, is this thing is polyester. Or some kind of, you know, some kind of, um, so, some sort of artificial material. So, it's really warm. Even right now, it's warm. Uh, <laughs> so... The, the, the environments, is it going to be worn or going to be kind of limited? No, no, I'm never wearing this during the summer. I will die. Um, but it works. Cool. Alrighty, next one. Okay, folks, last costume for the night is this one. Um, okay, it's not based on a character. Um, I am, if you're a fan of my site, yes, I'm the umpteenth geek who's a Cthulhu fan. It's Kaiju. Really? big, evil, uber-ancient kaiju. <laughs> um, so, you know, for a long time I've been trying to think, well, what kind of... I wanted to do some kind of cosplay that didn't involve me putting gills on my neck or walking around with a giant squid head. Um, and then, and I don't remember exactly what it was, but then it finally dawned on me. I mean, I've played Call of Cthulhu, oh, like a whole lot of other fans. And it's like, well, you know, steampunk look, yeah, great, whatever. And then all of a sudden I'm like, well, you know, what what makes it special? Well, you know, you're the supernatural, you're a Ghostbuster thing. A lot of them going to build like a, a steampunk proton pack. And then all of a sudden, Elder Sign. And a long time ago, when I was first doing my, um, my Doctor Strange costume, this was the Eye of uh, Agamotto. Um, this very elaborately built kind of Egyptian theme thing. Um, it was so cool and Egyptian theme that I did the cosplay. People went, wow, that looks really cool. What are you? Um, see? Blue. It's an eye. Get it? Um, so, you know, that's where I redesigned the, the Eye of Agamotto with the box and the line, blah, 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 blah. Now this, I put a lot of work in this dang thing, so there's no way I was going to get rid of it. And, I mean, look at it. It still looks cool. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to hold on to it, and I'll think of something to do with it. Ah! Elder sign. Um, so, you know, this is a perfect perfect size to hold you know like an amulet little thing and yada 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 and then from there the steampunk look just all fell in walking stick got a belt the lord this cape's hot my my all-purpose jedi cape the giant hat um from here i'm really not too sh um you know the the the, the range of ideas kind of goes from there you know it could go like all out part of me wants to build uh, you know a couple weapons i mean you're Talk about Cthulhu, yeah, weapons are a good idea. Um, but, you know, a couple devices, maybe with some light, you know, easy, easy simple lighting effects, yada, yada, yada. You know, steampunkish things. Um, part of me is debating whether I want to go through all that dang work because I got five tons of other things to deal with and just stick with this and just build a lighting effect for this. So we'll see. Um, but this is the base. Um, so, yeah, I mean... You know, obviously, you know, the Elder Sign is going to go here, maybe something else. Um, part of me was debating doing, like, this hand kind of, um, you know, how Doctor Strange, you know, he's got that funky energy shield thing, building something like that uh, with an Elder Sign on it. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, so, yeah, so that this is the H.P. Lovecraft Cthulhu, anti-Cthulhu costume. Woo! Hey folks, so I was doing editing of the video and realized that, wow, my camera work really sucks. And you didn't get a really good look at the um, at the amulet on the Cthulhu, um, the anti the anti Cthulhu costume. So here is a much better look at it. Um, and you can see you see what I mean by the Egyptian styling of the um, of the costume, where you know you got this. Technically, this is basically a giant circle. Um, and it's just that this top part here has been cut out so my neck will fit in here, like um, like uh, the um, like some of the necklace designs um, that you see um, in um, in um, in Egyptian designs. And here is the eye. 
And then here's basically, you know, just stuff to add a little, little pop and a little detail to it. But yeah, you see what I mean, how it's looks kind of cool, but I, it, it's, it's unfortunately distracted by everything else. That you, so it's kind of hard to figure out, oh, I have like a motto, but still looks cool. So this is the park here that would be replaced by the elder sign, everything else you know, whatever, it'll be something, but yeah, so there you go, and there you go, folks, my three costumes, woo, um, I was gonna do two more, um, for, but first of all, I got really tired, because that's hot, I mean, come on, if you've done cosplay, you're going, oh, it, yeah. Um, number two, the, the two, the two remaining ones, one is John Wick. Um, I really want to do that also because I found this really cute plushy dog that would look adorable to go with it. Um, but, I mean, you know, you get past that, it's a suit, blah, 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 whatever. Um, the other one is the crow, which, okay, I'm not painting this face, okay, because it takes time and blah, 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 blah. But found a really cool Mardi Gras mask that's really creepy, that would be great to wear. Um, but I don't have it yet because I haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, so... Oh, Roy, looks like you're all golfed out with a guitar. Woo! And a gun. Oh, the crow without the mask yet. Yeah. The other thing that I was, that I'm thinking of doing is that I've got a harness that I use for other types of cosplay um, that I can put a crow on. Because <laughs> then, okay, it's either going to look really cool or it's going to look really stupid. So the only way to find out is I actually build the thing and then. Look in the mirror and go, yes, or go, well, it's a plushy crow. It's only 10 bucks. <laughs> so anyway, but anyway, um, so that's it. Um, those three costumes, um, you know, they'll, they'll come out at some point. Um, yeah, it, 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 it's weird. It's weird for everyone. Um, two friends of mine, their fathers died um, from COVID-19. So it's been... Um, so, you know, uh, every time I end the, you know, semi-usual thing and, you know, be good to each other, seriously, be good to each other, okay, folks, seriously, y'all take care, peace, bye.